The man accused of killing nine people at a historic black church will represent himself at his federal death penalty trial. The judge reluctantly accepted, calling the decision, quote, unwise. Lawyers can stand by and help if Roof asks for it. Now, last Friday, a judge ruled Roof is competent to stand trial in the shooting deaths of nine church members at Emanuel AME last year. Now, the judge is moving on with jury selection, questioning more than 500 potential jurors one-on-one. -on -one. And many of you may be wondering why Roof would want to represent himself, even though he is potentially facing the death penalty. We took that question to the experts to find out if this drastic move is something that could possibly benefit him at all. It's certainly not unheard of for high-profile criminals to represent themselves in court. Ted Bundy, Charles Manson, and 9-11 co-conspirator Zacharias Musawi, to name a few. Now Dylan Roof wants to join that list. He's looking to get attention, yeah. Uh, that'll be all over, he knows it'll be all over the world news. He probably thinks he's smarter than the prosecutor, so he's thinking, I can do this. We asked attorney Ken Anthony to lay out the most likely theory. Is this move possibly a way for Roof to try to get out of the death penalty? I, I would think that that's really what this is about. Um, I, again, I've had this experience myself. I had a, a, a defendant several years ago who wanted to represent themselves. And I think people, particularly people who have committed an act like this, think that if they can get their message across to the jury that they will understand. In other words, Roof may believe the more jurors hear from him, the more sympathetic they may be. You can also gain privileges behind bars, like access to the jail's law library, and you're not as bound in court by the lawyer's ethical code, which means you could delay proceedings by filing lots of extra motions. Whatever the reason, representing himself is his right under the Sixth Amendment now that he's been declared competent. His previous attorneys will serve as standby counsel throughout the trial. If one of Ruth's tactics here in representing himself is to try to set up for a mistrial, how likely is that? I think uh, the mistrial is very unlikely. Uh, the only errors that could occur in the trial will be ones he creates. And the judge is going to be watching very closely to make sure that Roof will have no grounds to declare a mistrial and that he has a fair trial. Again, with the standby counsel there, Roof can look to them for guidance. And if he decides to change his mind at any point, those lawyers can step in and take over. Now, historically, serious offenders who have represented themselves have had no luck winning their case or evading the death penalty.